Hey, check it out. This is the Zion Mollus X100. It's a bicolor 100 watt video and photo light. And that's me, shooting and lighting by myself as usual. I have huge lights, I have small lights, but none quite like this one. Hey, welcome to Ray of Light, episode one. In this series, we're gonna be talking about lighting. We haven't done a lot of lighting tutorials on this channel, but I work full-time in video production and lighting is actually a big part of what I do. So we're gonna start talking about lighting a little bit more here on the channel. And the very first thing we're talking about just happened to be something that's practically like revolutionary. Like, look at this thing. This is a 100 watt bicolor light that has all kinds of modifiers you can add to it and it can actually fit in your pocket or your backpack or something like that. You could pack up a ton of these if you want to and even mount them together with the different mounting points. There is a huge fan here in the back and really, really interesting design. So this is it with the battery pack on it and you can just see these big vents here that blow through the COB chip here. And then you have the huge intake fan here on the back that's just constantly dissipating heat throughout this device and then cooling vents and stuff around the sides and it is a really really nice clear hard material that feels almost metallic I know the sides are metal here but really really hard plastic and this is with the extended battery on it so you can actually remove this and now you have just the actual light itself but it doesn't have an internal battery but you can plug it in through USB-C or you can plug it in through a wall DC adapter but we're gonna talk about it a little bit more so let's get into it when I show up I show up with a handful of stands and lights and just having the flexibility of having this small light on set is really really helpful to me I show up with everything from like a tiny 100 watt like this all the way up to a 600 watt like this a bunch of lenses my Sony FX6 I got the audio going up on the boom pole my B camera for the gimbal is the FX3, and I bring some RGB lighting as well, and I'm ready to go. So Zion mostly made famous for their amazing work in gimbals and camera stabilization is jumping over to the lighting game. And this first iteration of the Mollus X100 really just knocks it out of the park whenever it comes to this really cool and futuristic design. I've never seen anything quite like it. It's actually just about the same size as my phone. Actually, my phone is a little bit longer but really, really not too big, you know, when you're looking at it in comparison to something like this. And the cool thing about it is too, that there is an app that's in development. I have it downloaded on my phone, but I'm not able to sync it with the current firmware that I have on here. But I got this light like one day before it released to the public. And I've been taking it out on professional shoots with me and using it out in the field before I made this video to kind of give you my overall opinion and how I like using it. So I've used it out in a video shoot with different modifiers and different things. I've tested it indoors and outdoors and I gotta say, I'm impressed with it. And then they have this proprietary ZY mount for mounting different accessories, like this little hyper reflector and it actually does a really good job and I'll show you some examples here. This is without the hyper reflector and this is with the hyper reflector. Out of my CCT and Lux test, I find that the hyper reflector makes it about six times brighter. All right, well, before we get too deep into talking about lighting and everything, let's talk about these modifiers and some of the different kits that you can get. There's three different kits that you have to choose from. The standard kit comes with the hyper reflector and the light. You also get the power cable and the sleeve for the power cable which this just drops in here and then you can connect your power cable through the hole in the bottom here and it's just a mesh bag says Zion on one side and then you can essentially strap this to your light stand or something like that if you need to hold up this power supply because it does have a very very long cable but I mostly use this on the battery 
So yeah, that's what you get with the standard kit. Now, next up, there's the combo kit, which actually comes with this really nice case and the Bowens mount adapter. So this kit goes for $350, it has a nice gray Zion case inside couple of mesh pouches and holds everything in here. So you still have the same power adapter, the DC power adapter with the mesh sleeve. The biggest thing about this one, I think, is the fact that you have the battery grip as well. So you're able to add the external power and now you can take this wherever you want and power it at 100%. You still get the same hyper reflector and you also get a wrist strap or a neck strap, I should say, because you have these little loopholes on the sides of the light on all four corners. And then these are detachable as well. So you can simply just pop this off and pop it back on. And it includes this ZY mount to Bowen's mount hyper reflector. So you can just simply put your light on here like this and it has the built-in reflector and then a Bowens mount so you can mount any kind of traditional Bowens mount softbox or something on here like that it also has a little umbrella holder right there too if you have umbrella modifiers that you want to use on this so there you go it also comes with this and that puts you on pretty much any kind of light stand or c stand that you may want to add this onto Alternatively, you can still use the quarter 20s on bottom here too. You don't have to use this Bowens mount adapter to be able to put it on a light stand. You would just have to add your own ball head or some kind of mounting point here underneath. And then finally you have the Pro Kit, which includes the softbox. It has everything that you have in the combo kit, except you get this collapsible mini softbox. And this just pops open with a couple fingers, just like that and you collapse it with just a little twist so that folds right back up and it does include this little mini honeycomb grid in here as well you can take that off and just have the bare diffusion or you can focus your light a little bit better with this grid on here so that is the pro kit now let's talk about some of these other modifiers that you can add on here so this is the zy mount dome diffusion you can use it just like a regular reflector dish if you want but why would you do that when you have this nice soft little dome bubble that you can put over it and actually make some really really nice lighting for a model's face or an interview or something like that so let me just get this cap on there there we go and i'll add it to the light boom here we go and this is actually one of my favorite modifiers for this because it just makes a nice overall spread i like actually putting this up on a c-stand arm or like a boom arm and dropping this in over just to light up an entire room you'll see here in this shot how i had it mounted on a c-stand using just a quarter 20 thread in the bottom of the light and then had that mounted onto a knuckle on a c-stand and just kind of dip that in over the top while i was was shooting this ceramist build teeth for a commercial shoot that I was working on and then this light here also came in really handy as a backlight for another interview scene I just dipped it in over the back of my talent and you can just see like how much light this puts off what am I at? I'm at 50% here and look how I can just light up this whole room with like a really really nice soft light so very, very cool that this modifier is out there because you don't have to worry about putting a big heavy light over someone's head. You just have this tiny little light right here. So that's awesome. I recently got to use the Zhuin Mollus X100 outdoors at a wedding reception. So I was able to put this up on a light stand and get a really nice feel for the couple as they were making their grand entrance to everyone. Later on, the photographers put their modeling light on their flash because they didn't realize how the nice soft light was going to be from my light at only 5% power. And I'm pretty happy with how the results turned out. You just get a nice soft feel for what would have otherwise been totally dark. 
So Zion also created the ZY Vega app for actually doing different lighting effects like fire and TV and different things that you can do on here that you're not able to access unless you use the app. So whenever this firmware comes out to use it and this light officially goes on the market that you have access to the Mollus G60 light and the Mollus X100. You can group them and all different kinds of stuff. Looks like you control the CCT here and the intensity, you can turn them off and on. So we'll be looking out for their new firmware to come out for the light or the app, whichever it may be, so we can actually use all the functions of the light. So be on the lookout for Zion's website for those updates. A couple other helpful things if you wanna use this on a tabletop, these are gimbal feet for the Zion Weeble 2. So these are really cool for just having a tabletop tripod. This is also from Zion. It's a little mini ball head adapter. So you could add that to the tripod. Another cool thing is this smooth extendable grip. And this just essentially makes a light stand, you know, wherever you may need to, or if you need to boom this out over someone, like you could just have somebody holding it instead of a stand. So that's if you have another person though but there you go, it just collapses back just like that. We have the Zion extension plate, and this is for actually mounting multiple lights together. And then it has little connectors on the end here, so you can make a square of these and make a bigger light source if you wanted to. How do you control it? Well, if you're gonna use the battery, you just simply snap the battery on, and then you hold this power button here for three seconds, and then it'll power up. Now to actually control the light, you change the CCT with this dial right here, and you can just roll that into whatever you like, and it goes all the way down to 2700, and goes all the way up to 6500 Kelvin. So you have everything from warm to cool, whether you're shooting outdoors or you're trying to match some other lights that you're using. And then if you hold that button for three seconds, you enter music mode. And in music mode, this is where the light will flash every time it hears a beat. Also, if you just tap the CCT button, it will jump through a couple different presets. You have 2700, 5500, 6500. On the second dial here, you have the brightness. It's listed under dim, so you can brighten this and lower the intensity all the way down to 1%. And then if you hold the dim button, it'll go in between these two different power modes. You have normal power, where it just powers on normally, and then you have the live mode. You can scroll down to that. And then in the live mode, that would be where your light comes back onto the same setting. Whenever it gets power, like let's say you have a bunch of these in a studio connected to a power strip or something like that. If you triple tap the power button, it resets the Bluetooth settings. And then on the bottom here, you have the USB-C port for actually delivering power through USB-C. You can do that through a power bank, a very powerful power bank that has power delivery, or you can use the included DC power adapter that it comes with. So the battery release button is on the front and we just pop the battery off and the connectors are in there. It also has a rubber cap that goes over this slot as well if you're not using the battery. And then on the additional battery grip, you have a power indicator button here on the top, just tells you what your battery level is. And then on the side here, you have the USB-C port for recharging this thing, or you can actually output power to it if you need to use this for something else for some reason. But the charging port recommends at least 18 watts of power delivery from whatever the device is. So you need a really powerful power bank if you're gonna be powering this light and you're not gonna get 100% power out of it, you're gonna get whatever wattage that you're able to put out of your power bank. Let's say you have a 20 watt output device, then you're gonna get 20 watts out of this light. So just remember that this battery is the only way to get 100 watts out of the Mollus X100. We have the Zion Mollus X100 just off to the side here with no reflector on it. It's just bare bulb six feet away and this is what this fill light looks like. All right, so now this is the Zion Mollus X100 with the hyper reflector, and I can already tell just from my eyes that it's much brighter, much more focused light. So how does this look? 
And this looks much better. You can see the details in my black shirt as well as a defined shadow under my chin and beside my nose. So now the light is about three feet away. So much, much brighter and this is 100%. So you could really, really get some fill light in the middle of the day if you had a really bright lit background or something like that. This would be a nice little fill light to get you a nice pop in the shadows. So once again, here is without like this. So dark shadows exposed for the background looks nice and back with the 100 watt light. Oh, wow, that is bright. So we could actually lower the intensity or use a different modifier. So let's switch over to the softbox now. Now this is what it looks like with the mini parabolic softbox. So just a little pocket softbox that you could pop up anywhere and get a little bit softer of a light even outdoors like this. All right, now here we are with 100% on the dome diffusion. So much more diffuse, but an overall wider fill. So this is the soft look that you get with the little lantern diffuser. And for good measures, here's a look at all of the modifiers at once. Okay, so we're in a very, very echoey, non-soundproof room. And this is the sound of the fan. So I have the mic on really, really sensitive right now, so you can just kind of hear, but it's so quiet. That's just wind that you're hearing. The Zhuin Mollus X100 is a great kit, whether you are doing location lighting or you're filming a YouTube video somewhere and you need to take a key light, but you don't have a lot of room to take a big lighting kit. These would be awesome. If you have more than one, it would be even better. You could make a huge lighting setup if you wanted to with a handful of these. You could do mixed lighting because they're bi-color. You have the different effects that you'll have when the app comes out. The fact that you can actually power it at 100% outdoors on a light stand just means that in a pinch, you could knock out a quick 20, 30 minute interview and rely on this light to give you a nice fill. But other than that, the only downside I can think of would be that battery life only being 30 minutes. Maybe down the road they'll release bigger bricks or something like that. But having a 100 watt light that you can just throw up in the air or on a stand or fill a room or whatever you need with the different modifiers they have like the dome diffuser or the little mini softbox if you want to use this as your key light, then you have those options. The hyper reflector works great for outdoors. As you saw, I had a really nice experience exposure although the shadows were a little sharper this gets the job done outdoors and if you wanted to step it up to even larger modifiers you do have the option of using the bowens mount and using all your traditional big modifiers so that's really cool as well so i highly highly recommend checking out these lights they also have the g60 which is a 60 watt cube light but having the 100 what power option was the big deal on this one for me. All right, guys, links to everything will be down in the description below. Shoot for the stars and see you next time on Ray of Light.